Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn another way to create objects or lines with dimensions in 3ds Max. Now this method I'm going to talk about, I don't recommend you to use this that much but this is one of the oldest methods so uh, I want to show this to you and also this is a, the, a basic way of uh, drawing something that, uh, with dimensions in any 3D software. Uh, once you are uh, familiar with this method you will be able to use this method, the same method, in any other software you want. Uh, so this is uh, how 3D softwares understand uh, the or read the objects, read the dimensions of the objects generally. So I want to show this method to you. It's not very practical, so be wary. Uh, I, I don't really recommend you to use this, as I said, but I really uh, recommend you to learn about this, and uh, this will help you understand how 3D softwares work. Okay, so let's hit T and start with the line again. And here you will see a, uh, another tab uh, called Keyboard Entry. And in here you can just input uh, some uh, coordinates uh, to 3ds Max and create splines or lines uh, with inputting coordinates. Okay, the, actually what we are doing in here is we are inputting the coordinates of the vertices of this spline. Okay. So uh, if you click, 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 these points are called vertices, as you know, and these all have a relative uh, position uh, relative to the origin in here. So this point is minus three by ten, for example. You can, you will be able to read these uh, when you once you select them. Actually, if you if you select them and hit W to go to the move tool, uh, this one's position is minus twenty four by uh, thirty nine point something. It doesn't matter right now. Uh, so these are the inputs we are making right now. Uh, let's delete this. Uh, reselect the spline. Now what I want to do is I want to start from the origin. So uh, as all these are uh, zero, I'm just going to hit add point and the first point will be added to the uh, origin. Then I want to uh, I, I want to create the same room I did in the previous lesson so that we can compare these two methods. So I want to just draw a line uh, a thousand centimeters in the x-axis. So I'm just going to input thousand and hit add point. And instantly you will see that we have added uh, a second vertex to uh, thousand comma uh, zero. And this will help us create this uh, th thousand centimeter uh, line in here. Okay. Uh, for the third point, I'm going to go 500 centimeters upwards. So uh, in this uh, example, upwards is the y-axis. Uh, you can read it from here or here. So I'll type in 500 and hit add point. And you can see that uh, it added a new point to 1000 by uh, 500 centimeters. Okay. I'm going to go back 500 centimeters uh, in the x-axis. So I'm going to just subtract 500 from uh, 1000, uh, which means 500, of course, and I will hit add point. I will add 500 to the y-axis, 1000, add point. I will subtract uh, 500 centimeters from here as well, so it uh, corresponds to zero. And then I'm just going to close, uh, hit close uh, to close the spline. Okay, uh, as you can see, this is the same uh, spline we created with the grid snaps. Of course, it's a little bit uh, more <laughs> mathematical heavy method, I guess. Uh, so I don't recommend, I don't really recommend you to use it, but this is how Max understands uh, what we draw. So it's really important to, uh, to know this, to be able to think how Max understands things, okay? So let's uh, go to the modify tab, hit three to go to the spline mode, and I will select the spline, type in 20 for the outline, and then I will extrude this 300 centimeters. And then voila, you have the wall uh, from the previous lesson. Let's hit T and try to create another shape in here. I'll again select the spline and this time, uh, sorry, line. Uh, this time I want to start from the 2000 by zero. I guess it should be somewhere around here. So let's uh, just type in two thousand for the x and zero for the y and hit add point it's not really showing us the point so it's a little bit clunky i guess but whatever and then i want to uh, again create uh, or draw a line with let's say 500 centimeters this time so i'm going to add 500 to the x 
uh, which is 200, uh, 2,500 and at point again. And right now you can see what we uh, end up with. Let's go up 1,000 centimeters. Let's go left 1,000 centimeters, which means I want to subtract from this. So it's 1,500. Let's go up again. It's a little bit of a random shape, I guess. <laughs> and let's go to left. Uh, 300 centimeters, which means uh, the X position will be 1,200. Let's go down uh, in the Y axis, minus 500. Uh, I'm going to go left, uh, sorry, right to 1,500. I'm going to go up and then to left again. And then let's close the shape. Whatever, this is a random shape, I guess. But uh, I just wanted to show you uh, how I can think uh, about this as I go along drawing this uh, line, okay? You need to do subtractions and additions to get the desired shape you want, okay? And also, this is a little bit not that cool because we only can draw... It's not true what I, I'm going to say, but let's, uh, let me say it first. Uh, it's, uh, you can only draw straight lines, I would say. It's not really uh, true because uh, let's try to create a uh, diagonal-like shape. Uh, I'm going to start from 5,000 this time. Let's start from something uh, fresh at point. And then what I can do is I can add to both X sides. Like I can go to 6,000 in the X axis and 1,000 in the Y axis. And this way it will create this uh, shape. Uh, it went a thousand in the X, a thousand in the Y, and it ended up, ended up with this uh, diagonal-like shape. Uh, you can also do this, but uh, calculating the dimensions for this is really hard. So uh, in the, with this method, you really don't use uh, or draw things like this. You usually draw things like this, uh, where the edges are perpendicular to each other, okay, and are, and they are parallel to the X size uh, actually, okay. As I told you, I really don't really recommend you to use this, so uh, I'm just going to cut this short. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about this. Uh, so uh, this is how you draw things in 3ds Max with coordinate points. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, thanks again. See you in the next lesson.